Greetings once again, VAC fans, especially those that enjoy airflow and suction box tests. So, directly from refurbishment, we have this, so I'm told, a 2018-ish Kenmore Elite 31150. So, I have two HEPA bags we're going to try for these tests, and the exhaust HEPA filter is installed, but it's the one that I actually soaked in Persil and then dried. And we'll take a look at how much uh, airflow it happens to uh, rob the machine of uh, a little bit later on in this video, but all filters are in, and we're going to start out with that type of bag, and <laughs> you're going to be absolutely amazed what this thing can get. Now keep in mind, it's been refurbished, and I took special care to actually make sure that all the seals in there were not only cleaned, but like say, armor -alled and reinstalled properly and everything fit together very, very tight. And I, I think some of the other YouTube videos that I've seen were just people just, you know, testing the machines as they got them. I almost wonder if from the factory some of these seals maybe weren't installed properly because the numbers you're going to see here in this video uh yeah they're going to be something that you're going to have a hard time believing so we're starting out let's see 122.5 volts with no load and away we go uh we're going to start out with all filters in brush roll off Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's really hard to believe, but I've never measured one of these before. So, I mean, maybe that's really what it's supposed to do. Um, you know, I've got a nice little rubber seal back here, another weather stripping seal, and then of course I've sealed up the front and the sides well. Well, pretty much about 110. Again, all filters in. Now, let me turn the brush roll on and see what kind of differences uh, there might be. Now this is a powered brush roll by its own motor. So let's see if it has some CFM effect. Here we go. Okay, so you saw that with the brush roll spinning, the CFM went down a little bit. Because this is using some power, the um, overall motor speed, I mean, actually, you know, inside here in the base, was drawn down just a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So the CFM dropped. Okay, so let's switch bags and see what we have for a difference. All right, I've taken the EnviroCare bag out. Totally clean bag, never used for anything. And I have this O bag in there. Very interesting, unusual fitment. Let's see what it does. <laughs>
Okay, so I think I came across something that didn't surprise me a whole lot. This bag right here fits in this machine a little bit better than the O bags do. And I don't remember what current pricing is on, on these, but uh, yeah, there's a small difference. You're not really going to notice it in vacuuming, but there's a small CFM boost when you use a bag like this. And like I said, the collar fitment is absolutely perfect. It's totally perfect. So if you want to use this type of bag, and you, you can get these type of bags, and I have uh, other machines that use these, um, feel free to use them. And they have the same rating, um, 99.97, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great rating. So, um, these O bags have kind of an oddball fitment, and I think it's, I think it's reducing the CFM just, just a little bit. Now, last, what I want to do is I want to start this again, and I want to take out that rear HEPA filter, and I want to see how much airflow it draws down. Okay, so there's, there's my filter that I washed and soaked in Persil. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I saw that, just like any exhaust HEPA filter, this is going to uh, remove a few CFM uh, from your machine. But this filter, despite its kind of wacky condition, is uh, still doing a pretty good job. Somehow, when I went and took all the filters out, even the pre-motor filter <laughs> ended up bumping my anemometer so had to put a couple pieces more tape on there okay so the machine is completely naked uh, of the three filters you could have in I have zero so let's see what the raw airflow is Again, this time brush roll spinning. Now, how about some suction tests? Well, I 
I tell you, I wasn't expecting that. And um, here's a shout out to Lacking Vacuums. And I think he tested a 31140 and got like low 40s. This was a lot more suction. <laughs> so after that incredible airflow and suction box test, I need to point out a few things if you've never taken a look at this rug plate. So this rug plate has massive notched cutouts. Here's a USB stick. So look, this fits in here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All those cutouts will ensure that the massive suction and airflow this machine has won't make it stick to thicker pile carpet. Because if it didn't have these cutouts with its really high airflow and the highest nozzle suction that I've ever tested to date, you, you couldn't possibly move it. So I don't know how that's going to translate, you know, with all this suction and airflow relief right here into uh, cleaning performance. We need to test the brush roll speed. Now the bristles here are very long and very stiff. Let's see how fast the brush roll spins. There's my little reflective piece of tape. Okay, we saw around 2170. Unfortunately, that is a very, very low number. So even though this has what might be considered to be an aggressive helix design, it doesn't spin very fast. To close out this video, I just got to show you this unusual bag system right here. So when I initially got these factory HEPA O bags. I thought something was wrong. So see what I'm looking at right here? This is this huge tall bag collar and I'm going how is that gonna fit in there? But as you can see when you push it in this kind of bends at a 90 degree angle and pushes this lever down. So it goes in like that. See how that rests? So I was like, oh, oh, okay, fine. All right, so that, that works okay. But it was just, it was kind of unusual. And this bag is just a little bit too big for this compartment. But obviously it'll, it'll you know, expand when you go and turn it on. But I still think this bag's just a little bit too big. These crazy EnviroCare bags right here perfectly fit the inside of this compartment. And when you press it in, all the way in, and it does make a wonderful tight fit. <laughs> Rah! See, it actually does push this little lever down and this fits in here a little bit better. And I think that's why that EnviroCare bag has just a tiny bit extra airflow. So whatever you wanna use, I mean, it's up to you. Maybe it's too tight. Is it? There we go. But it certainly makes a tight fit, and you definitely have a choice of bags to be sure. All right. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for a lot more tests with this Elite. I don't have any idea how it's really going to do. The brush roll speed, I got to be honest with you is somewhat disappointing since it's so slow but uh you know you never know we'll find out soon enough so stay tuned